just wanted to come on here to a little bit talk actually about meditation. Um, yeah, I am actually a massage therapist and a personal trainer. I think many of you know that already. Um, yeah, I'm doing that seven days a week actually. And I get so many clients with anxiety problems. Some of them also uh, had some diseases of course uh, in the past. Um, actually, many of you know maybe also that I'm very quantum physics, meditation, this kind of things, um, yeah, I think it's very important to actually learn about this kind of thing, like spirituality and this kind of things, and that you actually, and that you actually learn to observe yourself, you know, um, you are not a person, we are actually a consciousness that is observing everything. Actually, there is a famous painting in India, maybe you heard about it, I don't know. It has two birds. One bird is constantly busy, he's bringing food for his, actually, his babies and he's bringing actually more leaves and everything to fix his nest um, for his babies also. And the other bird is not doing anything, he's just observing everything, you know. Um, if you think about it, you are actually aware of your past, your present and your future. And are also aware of all the changes that you have gone through your whole life you know um, because that part that is aware of the changes that you have gone through as a human being that you've grown and all that that part is never changing it means that is your consciousness your awareness um, and that's the part that you should connect with, with actually more and with meditation actually you learn about that also many books reading is also reading books can help of course um, I have read the power of now like three times I think it's a seven and a half hour audio book yeah I had like I don't know many of you know that I think I post about it one time I had like mm, depression for 14 years I think mm, all the time I had depression then again it was okay again I get back into depression because my shrink actually told me that I cannot heal because I have ADHD and it's part of my disease so I thought yeah you have to accept it and all that but I think there is also another way you know I think especially in corona time you know um, it's very important to go more inside to find your peace from within and um, yeah I think that can help you a lot um, yeah I just wanted to come on here a little bit talk about it I hope it can give some people some clarity um, can help you feel better yeah, if you have some questions or something, you can always send me a chat, a DM or something, mm, if you need help. Actually, I'm doing mm, massage for women. Uh, we are doing some breathing exercises for breathing improvement. You have to try to breathe always from your belly, not from your chest, because some clients, they have panic attacks. I think many of you may be familiar with that. I also have had them in the past. Um, yeah. Some spiritual teachers that really helped me was like Princess Moji Baba, Bentino Masaro, Eckhart Tolle, yeah, from the book that I just told you about. These are books that I would recommend. Um, if you have any questions, that's it. It was just some short advice that I just wanted to drop it on here. I hope maybe even if it helps one person, I would already be very happy. And that's it. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> bye bye.